Hey guys and welcome to another block spotlight. In this spotlight I'm going to take a look at the Magmatic Dynamo from Thermal Expansion Tree. Now before we get to that let's have a look at its crafting recipe. Alright now the Magmatic Dynamo is made by having a piece of redstone at the bottom here which is surrounded by three Invar ingots. Then you have some Invar gears in the uh, center slots here. And finally at the top we have a redstone transmission coil. Now the Invar gears are made by placing some Invar ingots around an iron ingot. And the redstone transmission coil is made by having a silver ingot with some redstone at the ends. Alright. Now let's have a look at the magmatic dynamo. This is an interesting block because it generates power. Now uh, in Terminal Expansion 2, uh, the Terminal Expansion mod used the power from Buildcraft, so Minecraft tools, to power all systems. Now in Thermal Expansion 3 it has introduced its own power system or its own form of power I suppose called Redstone Flux. So uh, the reason for the nice new uh, dynamos which generate power is to generate this uh, Redstone Flux for you. So these uh, dynamos are not available in the older versions of Thermal Expansion. Now Thermal Expansion 2 does have similar engines which generate Buildcraft power but now we have dynamos. So I've got one set up right here, connected up to redstone energy conduit, with, uh, which transports the power into this resonant energy cell. So just to show you that the uh, resonant energy cell, which is basically a, a, a giant battery, is charging when this thing is running. All right, now let's have a look at the uh, this well <laughs> at the interface here. The magmatic dynamo is a block which stores uh, power internally. So it's got a buffer of 40,000 redstone flux. And over here we have an internal uh, reservoir for a liquid. Now the magmatic dynamo, what it does basically, it generates power from a hot liquid. Now the first thing that should pop into your mind is you can pour lava in there because, you know, lava is pretty hot. And you're right. So let's pour some lava in there and uh, yeah here we go so we have lava slowly being uh, processed here and it's not store, uh, storing any power in the eternal buffer because it's being output into the resonant energy conduit and as you can see our re uh, resonant energy cell is charging right now let's have a look at the power okay so it's currently producing 80, uh, 80 sorry redstone flux per tick so that's the, the power output for this dynamo, essentially 80 redstone flux per tick. Now, you might be wondering, well, let's say I don't have lava. You know, this is a block which by the description generates power from hot liquids. Well, you're lucky because lava is not the only hot liquid available to you. So let's, like, if you want to remove this, uh, just hold shift with the crescent hammer and right click it. And let's place it back so the uh, the internal reservoir is empty. Uh, uh, Thermal Expansion 3 also has a fuel called Blazing Pyrotheum. And this is also hot liquid, which you might have guessed from the name Blazing. And when we pour that in there, it will also generate power. So we should still be getting 80... Yeah, there we go, 80 redstone flux per tick. Right now, finally, I want to take a quick look at the uh, rest of the interface. So right here, we can see the energy output, as it said before, 80 redstone flux per tick. And the internal buffer storage, which you can also see right here. And then here we have redstone control. If you're familiar with thermal expansion, you should know what this does. So uh, currently it's set to low. That means that the engine will run as long as there is no redstone signal. If we set to high, the uh, well, the dynamo will only run when a redstone signal is being input, and when we set it to ignored, it will only well, it will always run essentially. So that's it. Uh, right here, we still have information in the tutorial, but that's just information. So that's basically it for the magmatic dynamo. It's a convenient uh, engine or dynamo. Uh, to generate power when you have hot liquids, uh, which will usually be lava. 
and um, yeah so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one hey guys just a quick last note i want to show you guys how you can make blazing pyrotheum basically you do this by placing pyrotheum dust or pyrotheum dust however you pronounce that in a magma crucible which will turn it into the blazing pyrotheum liquid and uh, this dust is made by having some sulfur combined with coal dust or well any sort of pulverized coal uh, also some redstone and blaze powder so that's basically how you make that